Hello one and all, this is Carl. Welcome back to Aeronautica. Hours ago, a new update has been released, version 1.154. Pause the video to read the update notes. Event vehicle. New aircraft, read models, circuit flying, UI changes, curated deliveries, and hours later, patch. Hmm, purchasable? Hmm. We'll go first for the vanilla update and then. Where is this purchasable? <laughs> right then, let's find a 1.154 vanilla server. And yeah, first he is my friend. Hmm. This one, Niner Delta 1, Foxtrot 02. It's been six hours. Let's join this random. Oh, hey, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, special and unique aircraft for playing around St. Valentine's Day. Find it at Yosho. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just. Just remain at point eight. Right then. Now where is Yosha? Rather, <laughs> I've just categorized all my aircraft, and this should be it: the Astraeus ADF three forty X relay. Any inspiration? Oh, I totally forgot. Right then, let's mark this for painting. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the text just... <laughs> yep. <laughs> let's move to the vehicle and see what... how Yosha has changed. Right, so the aircraft are unchanged. 
Oopsies. Still low resolution. Oh. Oh, is that the... The Museum of Flight. Oh. The Flower Duet by Delib. <laughs> You're going to strike us with copyright. But anyways, the all-new Yoshaw Museum Airfield. Is the Flower Duet necessary? Three, five. One seven. All right, then let's can we customize this fictional fighter? So we got a cabin. If that's a, that is if we press the five key. So blue, red, purple, or green. What you can put at the inner pylons. You want to add the pylons. Hell dart. Drop tanks. Extra range. Or Kurvenal. And the other pylons, stealth drop tanks, another hell dart, core wall, nothing on the pylons or empty. That's all for your options there. No curations. There's your Astraeus. All right. It's Tarkway Airfield on our list. Of course, we got the Schwalb or the B-17. Here is the old new Tarkway airfield. Same thing, 1735. <laughs> Barracks. Some are Bloxians. These are anti air guns. Oh, it's uh, for reenactment. Or, yeah, it's uh, some good history there. What do you think these guns are? Which era? Look there. <laughs> Field trucks are up to the era. Hangers, the place are spawned here, and that is Tarkway Airfield. Oh crud, I forgot about this.
There we go. <laughs> the Tarclay Airfield. Let's now return to the lobby. <laughs> Flower duet. Is that necessary? Right then, Dallas, Dallas, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Oh, there's a lot of Los Angeleses. <laughs> what should we pick? Should we pick a Dallas or? Captain is safe. We'll just pick the youngest server, the 6 Bravo Alpha 58 Foxtrot. Let me announce the chat. Oh, there's the notification again. Wait, what? So did we have a duplicate Astraeus? Let's check Yosha again. Right. Oh no, we didn't. It's, yeah, we didn't. We didn't put a save point there, so we're safe. Safe. So we'll just. There we go. Yeah, for posterity. Anyways. Oh, Percy, what are you? <laughs> What were you doing? Huh? Ah, All right, let me read my notes. So we've covered Yosha and the Astraeus and the Tarkway. Let's start first with the Airbus A330 Neo. So for that, let's go to Oscar Floy. Or should I say, Uskafloy? <laughs> of course, the accent. Come on, Percy, what are you doing? It's just... it's... Right, that's an 800 there. Oh, it's... Spy agent? <laughs> As in the... <laughs> Alright. Is he live streaming? <laughs> Alright. It's not a stock, but it's green rarity. The Airbus A330 800 Neo. So, why is this sold at Oscar Floy? Yeah, I guess it's, uh, Air Greenland? Do 
don't see any Greenlandic airports around here, except Rivensk. Could have, could have put it at Rivensk. It's based on Thule Air Base. But we'll just look at the statistics here. So what was the change? Did it make it sellable or something? Hmm. The Astraeus. Alright then. But the main point there, that's the Airbus A330-800. Now let's go for the 900. And... <laughs> I've already logged five hours each on three. One of Virgin Atlantic, one is Air Senegal, and Air Mauritius. And this is what happens. The old livery model is gone. Just this remnant of the wings ID. Not doing. Alright, so this is a uh, Virgin Atlantic, that's, that's according to the last posted livery. So let, let me look at it at Jet Photos. And we will look at the advanced customization of this. So it's a 207. 5836, somewhat 47, and uh, 237. There we go. The 800 and 900 are somewhat related. So for the right arm, first of the advanced customization options, you want it external or internal. You want to add a, a belly, UV, or non. Would you like a small waist door or a full size? You want to also add a SATCOM, near the stabilizer. And if you want the spinners to be white or yellow. There you go, this, this one over here. So the Virgin Atlantic Golf Dash uh, Victor Juliet Alpha Zulu has a SATCOM. Then it has the small waist door. But what about the engine color? All right, it's just a uh, will be more specific once I ask someone to paint this. So there we go. That's the advanced customization for the Airbus A330-900EO. Let's now teleport to New England town.
we'll use another Messerschmitt or this one. I was in the middle of job shading with this Napoleon II Sosoroxy to the day when this update came out. So new on the dealership, the ultralight yellow rarity, the Slepchev Storch Mark IV. So color one, the body, this vertical stabilizer, color two. Supports, color three. With the wings. The stork. Make this quick. Teleport to Sandris International. How do we get to Sandris? Here we go. Which one could we use? This one here, the Max 8. Or rather, Max A200. So the store with Malta Air Livery. It's a Niner Hotel dash Victor Uniform Alpha. Alright, so where does this new play? Is it a jet? Is that a portion? Or... Here it is! The Fairchild Dornier 728. The Simmons Sly Oct. <laughs> Prototype. Color one. What about the Fuse Lodge and the Vertical Stabilizer, Color 2, the Wings, it's a bit inconsistent there, the Wings and Horizontal Stabilizers, Color 3, the Engines and the Support. You want to sell your A320? Hmm. Well, I got an extra Delta right now. It's just... <laughs> so here's the Dornier 728. There's no advanced customization, though. Right. What?
And before I forget, concurrent players... There's two moderators and Percy. That's good. Filters. Uh. Right, twenty thousand wings for and forty thousand body. There's a loading. There's a stretch. Oh! Uh. screen all right we're done with the prototype Dornier so let's see what VMJ gives us Delta A320 November 377, November Whiskey. So it's an ex-Northwest. Right, so it's XD. It's So, I think of this, it's, well, it's decent quality. There's no text here, setting which production number. Yeah, it's just mostly solid colors. Not much detail, but whoever made this, it, it, they did their best. So, logged at one hour. Right, let's see what my notes... Right, it's at Valois. Oh, it's the... Is that on stock? Not on stock. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's using a translator? Because you already have it there from, so that's fine. Uh, I thought he wanted Air France on this to be replaced in the Delta, though, but sure. It's in your, in your hangar. Right, let's just go to Valois. We'll use this A350-1000 of Air Carib. I think I re reviewed this already in the previous video. So where's the new... This one? An orange rarity. The Bugatti Model 100P. Or Model Sante. Well, it has no advanced customization. All right, then. I'll have to look what, what's the raw colors of this. So it's all blue, but what shade of blue? So it's, it's like shorter blue here. Oh yes, this one, 36, 30, 115. Or oh, this is too dark. Not add Valois as a... A teleport down. But here is the Sante, the model 100P. Now let's teleport to Voyager. How do we get to there? The Voyager Polytechnique in the heliport. We'll teleport using the yacht or the cormorant. But let's see. This one. It has the Canadian government, <laughs> or this yacht. We'll use this instead. It's, it's a helicopter base. And here it is. It's on stock. The MD Helicopters MD-902. It's yellow rarity. So there's no customization there, but <laughs> but now let's look at the variants. I don't want to waste some time here, but let's see what you can convert to the 902. So there's your 902. The Explorer, there's a Combat Explorer, you can customize it for armaments, 
And there's also the MH-90 Enforcer. Search and Rescue Utility. Well, there could be hours required to log on your MB-902. And there you go, it's the, the 902, the 969, and the MH-90. Well, the statistics are the same in regards to the base customization. Now for the remodeled AH-64 Apache Guardian. It looks better. Dark gray or some shade of black. What do you think? The H six four E. All right, let us now proceed with the customizations for the other Airbuses. So shall we start with the A380 or the A321neo? Hmm. Let's start first with the A380 because that's uh, overdue. So I've collected like 12 or 11. Let's see, 3, 6, 9. Of course, it's 12. And I mostly logged at 5 hours at least, every one of them, except, uh, where was that? Was then there was a Nazi. Yep, it was, uh... I think one of them was already in epic status when I <laughs> traded it, but... Oh, it, it, it was a Kong... I thought it was a A380, but... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but, let's see. You want a Qantas or Lufthansa or <laughs> Singapore? Hmm. But anyways. Alright. Let's just go with the typical Qantas because... And look at this. It's, uh... <laughs> the Wings ID. <laughs> just a rabbit. There's Generation 2. And, but look at the remodel here, it's uh, good quality there, so let me pull out the Nancy on jet photos. Now let's look at the advanced customization of the A380. And there's only four of them. Well, you should have added another trend option, because, uh, why there's, uh, two sub-variants of the, <laughs> was it, H it's 841 and 842. Anyways, the options are, you want a SATCOM, uh, around here, or on there. <laughs> Then the <laughs> static dischargers, you want the external or internal. I know it's uh it's my aircraft airline colors there. It's, there's external, internal, and as usual most of the airlines have the belly U UV would be Qantas text and also the engines. Tread 900, but it's yeah, there's 
Why does it called 841? And there's also an 842. So could have you just could have got an improved trend just to differentiate between 841 and 842. And this one doesn't need variation because the the suffix would have been 861. So here's the edge of the lines, GV7270. So do you notice any difference there? So it's the cone. Thick, thin. Yeah, it's thick, thin. It's, there's a, the cost of range. So the edge of the lines might be the <laughs> earlier far and the it's probably the earlier iteration <laughs> but yeah I don't know which is which it's mostly Emirates or Qatar but so summarize you want a SATCOM you want the set of chargers you want a Bell UV um I think Korea doesn't have currently or if you want the engines so Rolls Royce if you want Qantas or the later Emirates Singapore you know, British Airways and uh Historically, the thigh and high fly, and the rest of the airlines uh, use Engine Alliance. That's uh, the earlier Emirates, the Qatar, Korean. Yeah, yeah just uh, I did mention any more airlines for, for the Rolls Royce. They're mostly they they mostly use Trent, but just a handful would use the other. Historically, Air France. So. There you go, that's the advanced customization for the A380. Let us now teleport to the A321neo. And just before recording, I just have to buy five more. Just for emotional support. Just how many deliveries can we put there? But but for the purposes as mentioned earlier, we had uh, American and uh, Philippine. So we'll use this one. It's uh, November 9052 X ray Victor. So. Share sure, image changes. Uh, All right, so this American has SATCOM. All right. So, color one, the fuselage. Color two, the vertical stabilizer, the winglets. Color three, the wings. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. All right, developers doing their developers. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's a lot of configure. Oh, oh, I can't scroll down. Really, I, I can't scroll down. Yes, I can't use my mouse wheel. Maybe I just need to uh, change the quality. Uh, I have to change the resolution. All right. So your default options, there's there's the cabin flex option, so it will come an X at this point. So you have a standard, which is the typical A321. It's uh, eight exits. And then there is the plot exits. And oh yes, I get it now. Oh, oh yeah, the, the scroll bar just came out there. So, right. So this is one option. You want plot exits or no blocked exits? So Kevin Flex says, oh what? There's a patch. All right, so, yeah, so, 
Let's just get to the odd. So for the patch, so we got a count flex. That's uh, you want plot exits. So these these two exit doors, and then you should add the uh, wigs ID with the arrows, and then you can also get this option: the no blocked exits. So there's a plug, then there's a block. So you, you don't want this. So this one. And then there should be also an option to uh, remove one of these exits. But is it down there? Oh, there should be an option for that. All right, before we'll check the variants, let's look at the cockpit windows. You want the standard or the PPG airspace, right? So there's, there's a gray edge and there's no gray edge. Then for the nose, as usual, you want the Zora mask, you see this sunglasses and bell frames. As usual with the normal A321. And you should add a SATCOM. Well, this American AJ-21 has a different shape of SATCOM. Yeah, the, the exits, it's not complete. There should be, a, yeah, there should be more options for exit configurations. So, that's that, let's uh, Let's make the standard, but I can change this to another airline. It doesn't have to be American. Yeah, the SATCOM, it, it's not consistent. It's, uh, it's X version America, X Alaska. So you should be a, a flatter SATCOM or, yeah, the SATCOM should be a move forward according to the chat photo. But let's just, in case it's, like this. You can also change the edges from the the Leap or the Prod and Whitney. And it's mostly the same as the H320 Neo. The cost of range, your speed is improved. So it's up to you. Let's, let's put a CFM for this purpose. All right then. Now for the most important part. You want to add the bell UV or or not. Now here's a typical option. Would you like to add multifunctional runway lights? So there we go. This is the runway light there. With a belly or no belly. And there's, this is just for the normal A321neo. And here, this is the LR variant. So there's <laughs> the statistics for the X XLRs to be announced, but just the long range. So there are already aircraft with the long-range options, so the difference is... Let's put this normal and then we'll put the LR. So at the cost of increasing some stall speed, it's just a range. Add more range. Then for this one, it's 1-1. One, one. This is 640. 1-1, one, one, 640, and this one is 739. Alright, so there's no XLR option yet, and the exit configuration... Not enough exit configurations. You could have looked at the... the, the cabin flex section of the wiki. Yep. <laughs> Limited choice for now. There's your A321neo. 
since I should change from American to other airline. All right, so where's the... All right, so the Korean Aerospace Industry FA-50. And this is the generic Polish Air Force livery. I could have just asked someone to get a uh, updated, but Here's the advanced customization. So you gotta clean. You want to add a drop tag on the center line or uh, sniper ATP. There's a conformal field tag or a feeling probe. Uh, where's Oh, it's uh, not cosmetic. Where, where is this field probe? I want something to put on the inner wing pilot. Here's the, the drop tag. Or the paveway. Now for the outer wing pilot, you get a uh, the Maverick. A bomb or a missile, and then there's the Amram. The Maverick or the Amram. And finally, the wingtip, Sidewinder. So the. Uh, so, so this was a default like this. Was it like this? Yeah, there used to be. Yeah, the original, the remoldage, there were armaments before the quote-unquote remodel. So here's the, the Fighting Eagle. Alright, so what's the changes on the CRJ? <laughs> I don't have any CRJ still. So let's just teleport to Amaris, to Pseudo Madeira. Use this Jet to Holidays, 821. So, where's the change in this CRJ 1000? It's the engine. Hmm. Yep, I think it's the blades. It's and also the Ever E one seventy five. Do we have an E one seventy five? Of course. It's, uh, oh, it's, this was made in a rush. But here are the engines, similar to the kind of original jet. Also the C three ninety. Oh the oh, that's not the Millennium. It's the Embraer C three ninety. See a spiral there. Fan blades. All right then, one more feature. Let's, which one, Orkney or Ardmore? All right, so I have to put a play to follow on, which should we use? 
This is now part of the teleport down. We'll use the spruce shoes or the oh the P fifty one. The California Guardian. So oddmore. So here it is, the oh <laughs> I think it's only for ultralights. But let's see if Ockady has this. Uh, So nothing there's it's not here, so we'll need to use an ultralight. Well I have a handful of ultralights. So we'll teleport this Rotan Quickie Q2. From Hampton, just temporary. Let's see if it's there. The only two are here. It is the circuit flying. Fly your aircraft in a predetermined circuit around Ockady Island twice. So it's you're just. So really, it's like this. Is... So it's just like racing for planes. Yeah, like NASCAR, but it's uh, aircraft. Right then, I will announce to the chat that I will switch to the later patch. Right then. So what is the patch? Another small fix. So reduce the wind speeds above a certain threshold. Um, so maritime search and rescue for helicopters. You've increased the Fairchild Dornier 728 price. So we should get any one of these. It's, oh, there's two two servers under Los Angeles though. So we'll get this one, the one Delta Alpha 5 Alpha 1. For sure, what, what's what was the old price now? Okay, so so they say my point here at Satyrus after the trade with VVC. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dealership. All right, so what's the price now of the Virtual Doria? It's uh. So fourteen thousand seven hundred. And that's about it. Fourteen thousand seven hundred. I'll type that in.
Now let's compare with the vanilla before we go. If there's still the vanilla, okay, where's 1.54.0? Here it is. It's it's not Los Angeles though. It's uh, no our angel. <laughs> All the angels are gone. All right, we'll use this one, the Charlie Eight Two Seven Echo Five. Right, so it was a. Uh, all right, so twelve thousand, so four thousand, two thousand seven hundred pricing, a weak point increase. So, all right, twelve thousand. So, yep, it's it's negligible, in my opinion. Yeah, it's still for blue rarity there. And just a few thousands. Hmm, and. The last thing we should check, Astraeus. Where does it say you can buy it? <laughs> 30, 31,000, where do you buy it? So that Tornado Air Park. Oh my goodness. Tornado Air Park. It's blue rarity. Oh, just save this kind of server. Come on. Alright, if there's still any version 1.154 vanilla, now's your chance. While there's still any of the service left, you can you could actually fight the tornado air park. Uh, it's somewhere in, around Adhesal, but but it's Blue Verity, so it's, uh, you would have a chance there, though, but... I guess that's about it. You could... Well, there's still vanilla left. You could try for this one. And we can edit there. So while this is still alive, I will see everyone on the next Aeronautica video. Tschüss!